This video is brought to you by Bobax, the world's best travel jacket with four styles and 15 features, including an inflatable neck pillow, eye mask, and built-in gloves. The show might be a work of fiction, but these spots definitely aren't. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Game of Thrones locations you can visit. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at iconic Game of Thrones shooting locations from around the world that you can actually go visit in person. Since we'll be delving into some plot details from the show, there will be some spoilers ahead. There's a real vibrancy and energy about the place and the plants and everything is just so much more exotic than anything else we've seen before. Number 10, The King's Road, The Dark Hedges, County Antrim, Northern Ireland. Located an hour north of Belfast, the Dark Hedges are an avenue of trees that form a scenic tunnel above those who drive, or in the case of Game of Thrones, walk beneath them. The view as one passes underneath the untamed rows of beech trees is simply breathtaking, something that was not lost on the producers of HBO's hottest show. Since its appearance in season two, the Dark Hedges have seen a dramatic spike in tourists, hoping to snap a pic in the same spot that Arya and Gendry set forth on their journey north. The King's Road stretches from Castle Black all the way to King's Landing, and was deserving of a real-life location that matched its grandeur. Gods, this is country! Number 9. The Tower of Joy, Castle of Safra, Guadalajara, Spain Season 6 had its fair share of flashbacks thanks to Bran's training at the hands of the Three-Eyed Raven. One of the most important ones involved a young Ned Stark crossing swords with Sir Arthur Dane outside the Tower of Joy. And now it begins. No. Now it ends. The spot that was chosen to stand in for this location was the Castle of Safra, located in northeastern Spain about halfway between Madrid and Barcelona. Built in the 12th century, the castle is an imposing structure, and its surrounding landscape is the perfect stand-in for the Red Mountains of Dorne. Make sure to swing by on your next Spanish road trip for some pictures that will make your friends turn green with envy. I wish you good fortune in the wars to come. Number 8. Winterfell, Castle Ward, County Down, Northern Ireland. Roughly two hours north of Dublin, you'll find an 18th century castle that, since 2011, has been home to one of Westeros' most respected families, the Starks. Okay, it may have spent a little time under Greyjoy and Bolton control, but let's pretend that never happened. Castle Ward is located in County Down, one of the six counties that make up Northern Ireland. Visitors can admire the castle's iconic tower house, take a stroll through the neighboring forest, or get a piggyback from Hodor. Okay, we made that last one up. But regardless, Castle Ward is a must-see for any die-hard Game of Thrones fan. Number 7. River Run, Gosford Castle, County Arma, Northern Ireland. River Run, the seat of House Tully, is located in the western Riverlands, south of the Twins and west of Harrenhal. However, in real life, River Run can be found in County Arma, an hour southwest of Belfast, and there, the locals call it Gosford Castle. Built in the 19th century, the castle is quite young when compared to some of the other places Game of Thrones has shot, but its Norman style of architecture nonetheless gives it a medieval feel. If you've ever wanted to pretend you're the Blackfish fending off a Lannister siege, this is the castle you need to visit. As long as I'm standing, the war is not over. Number 6. The Airy, Meteora Monasteries, Greece Game of Thrones never actually shot in this location, but that doesn't mean you can't visit the seat of House Aaron. Let us explain. While it's true that the Meteora Monasteries in Greece were used as the inspiration for the mountaintop castle known as the Airy, the show was never given permission to shoot there. The Greek government was unable to obtain the proper shooting permits, forcing Game of Thrones to take their production elsewhere. However, they still used the Meteora monasteries and their surrounding area as inspiration for the Ares mountainous terrain, creating composite images that blended George R. R. Martin's vision with the real-life location. But sadly, there's no moon door. Number 5. John and Egret's Cave, Kriotakiao, Iceland One of the steamiest moments in Game of Thrones history, John and Egret's sex scene in an underground hot spring had the whole world pining for a trip to Iceland. We shouldn't. The cave, which is located in the island nation's northern region, has
has become a popular tourist spot ever since it made an appearance on season three of the HBO fantasy series. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Iceland is peppered with natural hot springs, but few offer the same experience as this one, which allows visitors to take a relaxing dip in the same place as the King of the North himself. Number four, the Sept of Baylor, Bravos, Girona Cathedral, Catalonia, Spain. Every last sparrow will die before Marjorie Tyrell walks down that street. To die in the service of the gods would please each and every one of us. Located in Spain's northeastern region, just below the border of France, is the Girona Cathedral. Construction began in the 11th century and continued for many years. The cathedral is an imposing structure and one of the largest Roman Catholic churches in the world. The Gothic Cathedral stood in for the Sept of Baylor in season six, while its surrounding cobblestone streets became the city of Bravos. The Sept of Baylor may have come to an explosive end, but we can say with certainty that the Girona Cathedral is still intact, making it the perfect spot for a Game of Thrones pilgrimage. Number three, the Dragonstone Steps, Gastelugache, Basque Country, Spain. One of season seven's most prominent shooting locations, Castelugache is an inlet that can be found on Spain's northern coast. You'll recognize the man-made bridge as the spot where Jon Snow caught his first glimpse of a dragon in episode three. I'd say you get used to them, but you never really do. Unfortunately, the steps don't lead to Dragonstone Castle, the newly acquired home of Daenerys Targaryen, but instead to a small building dedicated to Jon the Baptist. Similar to Game of Thrones, Gastelugache's history is steeped in blood. Numerous conflicts took place in and around the region for centuries. Today, it's just another picturesque coastal inlet, but projecting dragons into the sky with your mind shouldn't be too hard. Number two, the Royal Palace of Dorne, Alcazar of Seville, Seville, Spain. Your brother was murdered. And you sit here in the water gardens, staring at the sky. While many of the locations we've covered have either been historic castles or scenic wonders, the Alcazar of Seville is both. The royal palace can trace its roots to the first century and continues to be used as a home by the royal family to this day. Perhaps that's why the producers of Game of Thrones decided to use it as a stand-in for the royal palace of Dorne in season five. The palace is dripping in decadence and unravels into a seemingly endless maze of architectural wonders, the likes of which any Game of Thrones fan would surely love to see up close. Number one, King's Landing, Dubrovnik, Croatia. Dubrovnik must feel like a second home to many of the Game of Thrones cast and crew, as it's stood in for King's Landing since season two. The Croatian city is an architectural marvel with its endless rows of terracotta roofs, cobblestone streets, and historic cathedrals. The city was deemed a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1979 and has long been a popular tourist destination. Of course, the fact that Lannisters, Starks, and Martells have strolled its streets has only increased Dubrovnik's allure. In fact, you'd be hard-pressed to walk more than a few blocks without seeing one of the show's iconic shooting locations. If ever there was a Game of Thrones location worth visiting, it is this one. This video is brought to you by Bobax, the world's best travel jacket with four styles and 15 features, including an inflatable neck pillow, eye mask, and built-in gloves. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.